萨，拜迪。Good afternoon, ladies and gents. So now it's time for English chit chat. <笑> Welcome, welcome. No, no, what a very hot Saturday. Yeah, hot but lively. Okay. Yeah. Ah, today a lot of people in our studio, and of course we have a very special guest. And the topic today, I would say, a lot of people are very interested、mm. to hear. Exactly. About gender equality. It's、mm. a very big and broad topic. Right. And right. it's and that's controversial, not just only in our nation,、mm. but in the international level, they have so many things to discussing in this topic.、Mm-hmm. So today we got a very good chance to welcome. A lady, yeah. A lady that she's I personally <laughs> I think she's very interesting, yeah. Because like her background before she's a lawyer,、mm. and now she switched herself to be a filmmaker. A filmmaker. Wow.、Oh. So it's like I don't know. For me, it's some something very you know extreme, like from the very right to a very left. True.、But、anyway, it's very interesting because I've heard that she is also a award winning filmmaker. Wow. Well. wow. Have you ever heard about the film Balancing the Scales? <laughs> <laughs> And actually,、mm. uh, the Tadam Center, the the, the American、mm. Center, Tadam, so Tadam. screened the last Friday.、Wow. Mm. Yeah, I, I missed that chance.、Yeah. But I've heard that they are screening very again, soon, very soon. So maybe like the, the next two weeks. But we have to like you know like、mm. keep it up. Man, Leo, man, Leo. As we said that today it's very hot, so it's very good for you to stay in your home, turn、yeah. your Facebook to our Facebook Live, our、yeah. Youth Radio,、yeah. utilize your one hour to practice your English skills with us, especially. The listening skills,、mm. and of course, the writing skills by sending <laughs> us two questions. Yeah, this is. I I I believe that this is a very great opportunity. If you have any questions, especially regarding gender equality,、mm-hmm. not, or any opinions, just feel free to to、um, leave the comments. Do it on the video. We are going live now on Facebook. Man, Leo. So today, before we start, we need to thank you so much for our sponsors.、Yeah. Thank you for Hong Yen Satawati, so a twenty first century school. school no? So you can learn English with the native English、mm. speakers. Yeah,、mm. yeah. So if you have any questions that you want to ask, the course that they are available at Hong Yen Satawati, so it call this number zero two one four five two five zero zero. Hmm. Or visit them. No, that's good. It's in Ban Tat Long. Ban Tat Long Thai. เพียงไวเข้าใจไวเป็นไวเดี๋ยวเราเข้าใจไม่ยัง Sky Telecom for the internet connection thank you so much no that you are seeing our life right now like very smoothly smooth because of Sky Telecom แล้วหนึ่งแปดสามสามวันเอกทรีทรีเราเข้าใจไหมยัง Coca Cola test of feeling อาการร้อนแบบนี้ต้อง Coca Cola ในสำคัญก็คือสินเสื้อธนาคารผงสวรรค์โอ้ thank you ผงสวรรค์ bank เนาะว้าวเอเวอร์ลี่ I think I'll get she's ready now yeah she's more you want the person to introduce her yeah 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 but um so again this lady is very talented lawyer and American filmmaker as well her award winning film is called Balancing Skills promoting like the rule of law gender equality and highlights the challenges the women face entering the the legal profession in the US.、Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Sharon Roven. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to our English chit chat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the fun talk on the Saturday. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Yeah, oh, thank, thank you, you for, for coming. Spending your Saturday with us.、Mm. <laughs> thank you. I know that the weather it's very hot, but you still come to our stage and spend、mm. your one hour with us. Thank you so so much. Well, I am from Georgia in the United、ah. States, which is almost as hot as oh, here. Oh, really? <laughs>、wow. So it's all good. So this is like. Uh, the second home. It's very <laughs> common. This is, this is this is like、mm. going home. But、oh. how about the humidity? Yeah, humid yeah. there too, definitely.、Really? Yeah,、wow. we have to、yeah. be there that visit someday. <laughs> so we don't need to adjust ourselves to the new weather anymore. <laughs> right,、oh. right. Thank you again for coming to our program today,、mm-hmm. and maybe you want to introduce yourself, like. Officially, <laughs> to the audiences who are、of、watching、course. and listening to us right now. So my name is Sharon Rowan, and I have been a lawyer in the United States for forty years. Wow! And、um, when I first started practicing law, I felt discriminated against、oh. as a woman. And when my daughter was born in 1994, which is just about your age,、mm-hmm. um, I decided that I wanted to. Make a film、mm. so that 
I could tell people about the stereotypes that uh, that women face that oh. keep them from getting higher in their career mm -hmm. so that my daughter would have a better life and that's why I did it. Oh, oh. so you have decided to, you know, like make this film back in 1994. 25 years ago. 25 years ago. So when did this film uh, come out? So because I was still had to make a living oh. and I had to take care of my my family mm. and so I worked on it here and there until 2014 mm. and then I worked on it almost full-time for two years and it came out in 2016. Mm. Wow, so but it had a very yeah. long journey. Exactly, but the, the idea of making the film still stick with you since then, since mm. 1994. 94. It did. It wow. did. Mm. Wow, it's very interesting. So d you mentioned a little bit about the, the stereotype, mm. the stereotype that women face in, in the States, yes. that they are facing to, like, in any area. So could you please give us the example a little bit? What kind of stereotype do they face? Sure. So women, when they want to get higher up in leadership positions, mm -hmm. they have a problem because in most cultures in the world, including the United States and here, mm -hmm. um, women are supposed to be, people think that women are supposed to be modest, mm -hmm. keep their head down, mm -hmm. raise their family, mm -hmm. work hard. But in a competitive environment where you're trying to get into promoted into a leadership role, um, people have to be a little more aggressive, mm. say what they want, mm -hmm. ask for the promotion. But when they do, people say, oh, I don't like the way she acts. Mm. Because That's she's a woman. The, yes, yes, because she's supposed to not act like that because really? she's a woman. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean by cultural stereotypes. True, mm. true, true, Interesting. Because sometimes when women want to speak up for her own rights and she is considered somehow like bossy, bossy, mm -hmm. after the bossy, bossy, mm -hmm. bossy. bossy. have a strong you know, like personality. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And so, what one of my sayings in the when I talk to people in the yeah. United States is when they ask what they can do, right. ban the word bossy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. But how do you feel when when like people call you bossy? Like both of you, I'm asking. <laughs> do you think that it's a good word or? Well, I I don't think that's a good word both for men and women. Right. It's a it's not a kind word to say. Like mm. you're bossy. Mm. Mm. Well, that's right. And so. Instead of saying bossy, if you say it in a different way, like competitive, yeah. that sounds a little bit yeah. better, doesn't it? Yeah. Totally agree. <laughs> true, true. Evelyn, but before yeah. before we get to know more about this topic, mm. before we we deeper talking about gender equality, mm. we want to know about your experience in Laos. Yes. Mm. Is this the first time? It is. Oh, we want to know. <laughs> when did you arrive? Well, I was only I have only been here for two and a half days two and a half <laughs> days <laughs> and i'm leaving tomorrow morning oh. but that uh. has made me so sad mm -hmm. because since i've been here i have decided that i love it here oh, oh i love the people oh. and i love the food mm -hmm. i may not like the weather in the <laughs> rainy season but everything else about it i love mm. oh. so could we ask about your um, uh, how to say, uh, not he, um, your, I mean, the role here mm -hmm. is in Laos. Why did, why did you decide to come Laos? So um, the United States embassies um, have a program where they bring films that talk about uh, things that are happening in America mm -hmm. um, to different embassies around the world. Mm -hmm. And I was lucky enough that the embassy here chose my film. Mm -hmm. And so I've been here giving presentations and screening my film for the last two days. Mm -hmm. okay. Wow. So um, you, you gave talks. I so did. Where, where do you um, mm -hmm. um, give the talks? And how was the feedback? Sorry, oh, kind of well, I've given talks at many of the different universities, the Law University, mm -hmm. uh, the Humanities University, mm -hmm. the Ministry of Justice, and I've given several presentations 
at the American Center, the mm -hmm. American Embassy American Center. And I have to tell you that there were young women at every single presentation, and they all asked good questions. Mm. They all said that they had the same experiences mm. that I've talked about, uh, about the women in the United States, the challenges they right. face. So I know that the challenges are everywhere in every country in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course we want to know more about like all the, the events that you have done. Are you going to have any more events coming? Or? Well, I think that there's going to be a dinner tonight oh. and, um, where I'm going to get to meet some filmmakers wow. here. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and also perhaps some people in the legal mm -hmm. community. So I'm really looking right. forward to that. Right, right, right. Yeah. Very productive. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> productive they have kept day. me very busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And may I ask about like when you were inspired to you know convey this 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 um, thinking about like the gender inequality and how the women struggle, mm -hmm. especially in this profession. So why did you choose making a film, mm -hmm. or why did you choose like to to send the messages to mm -hmm. the people but like through the films? Yeah. Yes. It's such a good question because I had 40 years of experience mm. as a lawyer mm. and lawyers use their brain mm. skills, mm -hmm. their intellectual skills to verbally tell people, teach people. Mm. But film is a whole different medium. Film doesn't really tell you something in an intellectual manner through your brain. It tells you something through your emotions and your heart. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of the subject that I'm interested in, which is gender equality, there's so much information out there and people know the information, but still things don't change because there hasn't been a change in the hearts of people yet. Oh, so I'm hoping true. this film will do that. Mm. So fame, fame, it's kind of be a good method to convey the message that you mm. want to say to the audiences, not just to the head, but to the heart. Yeah, yeah. both head exactly. like and heart. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. But I want to know why gender equality matter? I mean, mm. in your own opinion, in which circumstance we know that it's quality, or in which circumstance is it inequality? Or and in what is the gender equality? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. in your opinion. Mm -hmm. So, I think that every person on earth should be able to make choices, their mm -hmm. own choices, about their career and their family mm -hmm. without having cultural, old fashioned attitudes standing in the way. Mm -hmm. And right now, cultural old-fashioned attitudes are standing in the way of women getting promoted to leadership positions. Mm. 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 True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so that's really that gender equality. But like a lot, there is a lot of ideas though, like like that I said earlier, it's controversial mm. because when it comes to tradition and culture as well, like some mm. society might think that if it's because of, you know, like the tradition that they have mm. long ago, like many, many years mm -hmm. ago, is it, is it like considered inequality? In well, your and I think the world, I think that's true, and in many rural villages mm -hmm. and, and, and in the cities too, that there's a long tradition mm -hmm. of women um, not having a full career and because they have to step back to right. take care of children and take mm -hmm. care of their elders and take care of their parents. Mm -hmm and um, relatives that are sick. Mm. And so I ask the question, why can't women have the same choices in their career as men? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. why can't men choose to nurture their family side? Yeah. Mm. Why do they have to be the ones that continue their career? Mm. Maybe if they have a conversation, maybe the woman would be happier um, continuing her career and the man would be happier maybe staying home and taking care of the children that and true. Mm. why why is that so mm. uh, why is there s is such a negative perception of that in so many cultures in the world yeah mm. true true it's about the the perceptions and mm -hmm. the stereotype like like you mentioned earlier and all because like mm -hmm. sometimes if men want to like stay home and raise the children so that then that's nothing wrong about it mm. Mm. but that the specific uh, perspective of the society will be totally different than men decided to be the one who take care of the children at home mm -hmm. um, but you know what 
in Nausa day, especially in, in Laos and in Lao context, they also have so many voices from the men. Mm. The men, they also say that now today women, they have so many rights mm. and, and men is <laughs> other <laughs> <are> the person <laughs> who don't have equality compared yeah. to the women. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. Well, the statistics though, <laughs> even though they feel that way because they feel maybe <laughs> their jobs getting taken away, mm. but the statistics are still very, very bad about mm. women who actually get the leadership jobs. Mm -hmm. So maybe 20% mm -hmm. of in the legal field, for example, right. in the United States, only 20% of leadership positions are women. Mm. So when, when men say, no, now women have too many rights, mm. Well, I tell them, well, maybe we should give women a break for a while until those numbers get up a little bit. And then mm -hmm. we can go back to, okay, let's make everything on a very level playing field. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe because of the feeling, somehow. The feeling. <laughs> but according to the, the numbers, mm -hmm. it's still low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. So then, like we talk about since we talk about statistics. So I just mm -hmm. wonder if you want to share it with the audiences. Like for now, like we were in Laos, we have some ideas of like the gender equality, inequality that is going on here. Mm -hmm. But firstly, we want to 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 also know mm -hmm. about like in how about in, in the, the US. US. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are maybe like the the most significant <laughs> issues, like mm -hmm. the issues that the people, especially young people, are facing mm -hmm. a lot nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we talked about. Um, women facing bias, like in hiring, where people say, I don't think she's a good fit for the job because a man would be better. Mm. There's also the issue of mm. women having three full-time jobs instead of one, which is a career, taking care of the children, taking care of the family, mm. and there's just not enough time in the day, so something's got to give. Mm. And what usually gives is a career. They have to step back from their career because mm. there's no one else taking care of the children. Mm. And then the third problem in the United States is that people don't feel that women should be paid as much as men. So they get paid less really? for the, the exact true. same work. Yep. Wow. Yep. Still in the U.S. Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yes. Okay. And women get paid 80 cents for every dollar that a man makes for the same job. But this is still the, the issue at the moment. Like mm -hmm. nowadays, just, it hasn't been tackled yet. This is still the statistics right now, right. this year. Right, right. I think this is why, like the the the, the roles of the rule of law, has to do with this kind of issue where mm -hmm. the the women have the rights, like the same rights with men, especially in the career. Mm. No, I, I've seen you. Uh, I'm you, you have for been the, for the <laughs> comments. <laughs> yeah, um, because oh, I've seen a lot of comments as well. Okay. I, I think today we we receive a lot of questions. Well, I mean, very special. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this comment. I think it's very lovely. Um, this person said that why don't we have any male there? Our topic is gender equality. Yeah, actually, we want to have male <laughs> <laughs> co-hosts as well. I mean, like to the person who commented, if you are interested, please yeah. reach us because we lack of mm. male co-hosts. Man, but yeah. we have um, um, IT staff here man, who man. is a, a man. <laughs> <laughs> and this person asking about um, your career as mm. a lawyer. So he asked that, why did you decide to be a lawyer in the mm. very first place? I loved uh, the thought of being a lawyer because I think that lawyers have a particular power in a society mm -hmm. to change society for the better. Mm -hmm. And I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Very so, clear. <laughs> clear and, and sharp. So, Emily, I already asked about the problems that still happen in the States mm. about un gender equality. But in your opinion, in Laos, so what did you see? So what did you see that it's, it's a problem that's existing? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I've done a lot of research, but the most important thing was talking to all of the women who attended my presentations. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that the challenges and the problems are exactly the same. Mm. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. They face bias 
in getting promoted. Mm. They are expected to step back to mm -hmm. take care of the children, mm -hmm. and they they do not get paid equally here. So the exact sure. same problems. Mm -hmm. So why do you think? I and I believe in many places in the world mm. as well. That That's right. Not uh, facing the same pattern. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But why do you think it happens that way? Personally. In your opinion, mm -hmm. well, I there may um, many hundreds of years ago have mm -hmm. been a reason that w women didn't work, have their own career, mm -hmm. and um, were expected to take care of the children and not work. But in most societies today, women want to work, and in many cases, they have to work mm -hmm. in order to support their family, mm -hmm. and so. The women are working, and yet they don't have the same opportunities as men because of these um, ideas that are from long ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The own ideas still exist in people's mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, in people's mm -hmm. perspective around and, the world. And now I can yes. see that there are also many things that are being changing because mm -hmm. of the movement of the women, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. the lawyers. <laughs> there are many changes in the the rule of. Mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah. So, yeah. But, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, you're no, 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 you no, first. No. Huh? You first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to ask, like, since we asked about the, the movie, right? Mm. But I want to know about the feedbacks after that, after mm. the movies have been screened and have been in seen Laos, by right? a lot of people in the US mm -hmm. and in Laos as mm. well. Like, what are the feedbacks that you have received? Mm, well, most of the feedback that I've received from young women have been, thank you for making me realize that it's not my personal problem. Mm. Thank you for letting me know that this is a problem faced by all women mm. in our country and in countries around the world. Because people feel like they have to make these personal decisions, mm. but it's always better, it always makes people feel better to understand that this is a larger problem mm. than just their problem. Mm. So I think that's the most important part of the feedback that I've gotten. Mm. Mm. You're looking forward to see your, your film. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yes, American I want Center you to Cut see Down. it. No, yes. so we should tuned. join. We yeah. should join yeah. Yeah. We should follow the page, uh, U.S. Embassy. Oh, hi, <laughs> then. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to know one thing, that if we already know that this kind of problems exist in society around the world, mm. and how can women, as a woman, do yourself or improve ourselves or what can we do to not just only avoid and we can survive in these circumstances and how can men contribute to this problem to reduce this? Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing is that we cannot do it just women. Mm. We can't. We have to have everyone's help. We have to have men's help. We have to have our father's help. We have to have our husband's help. We have to have our co-workers help, our colleagues help, because without everybody's help, it won't happen and it, or it won't happen as fast. Mm -hmm. And so m many men want to help but don't know what to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what I tell them is it's always easy when you see something where somebody is saying something mm -hmm. that's biased, mm -hmm. for example, we shouldn't give her this job because she's just going to get married and have babies anyway. Mm. Step up and say something because you can always say something in a polite way to educate. And educate is the first step. Mm. And what about women ourselves? What should we do if we're facing this this problem in our place? Like, uh, we, I have, for example, I have the cup. Uh, the um, skills or ability to get this promotion mm. but I was just don't want me to do because I'm a woman because I have the kids uh, mm. because I just get married what mm -hmm. should I do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well it's a kind of a sticky problem mm -hmm. because you cannot tell your employer you're an idiot <laughs> <laughs> Unless, unless you want to get fired. <laughs> and so it is a little bit of a tricky situation. Mm -hmm. But what we found works best in a situation like that, the research shows, that when you can get a friend or a coworker to advocate for you instead of having to do it for yourself, mm -hmm. we're not, as women, we're not really comfortable in 
in promoting ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we just ordinarily don't like to do that. But if we can get a group of women together mm -hmm. and, um, you know, have one woman say about another woman, wow, you know, her idea is really mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. You know, we should do that as a project. And e all the women do it for each other. I think that is a good step. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Stay I as a group. <laughs> <laughs> Work as a team. Work as a team. A group team. up. <laughs> Female team first. And if we can involve like the male co-worker. Then yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But like for me, I think in my opinion, especially in Lao society, I think the first thing that I really wish to have is that the women are, are aware of mm. their rights. Mm. True. That they have these rights because like in my personal experiences mm. a lot of women are still like you know have that thinking themselves mm. that they're mm -hmm. they don't deserve the, the position mm. sometimes or women are not supposed to you know like be mm. so open in what they are thinking mm -hmm. so i think um the first step is that to realize mm. what kind of rights that you have in the society then we have like the equal rights as true. men true mm -hmm. true that's a very good point emily Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know in, in the United States, we've had about 60 years since the 1960s mm. of laws. And um, there's been m many lawsuits and, and figuring out how to best implement mm. those laws. Mm. And I know that you have had in Laos gender equality laws for, I don't know, I think somebody told me 1975, mm -hmm. but now in 2014, they're doing something new, they're implementing something new, they're asking for public comments this year. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great time to educate women because um, the government is mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to implement the laws mm -hmm. and give women more rights, and now is the time for women to speak up. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of this topic, we got the f question that mm -hmm. very relate to this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this person asking about what is the difference between gender equality uh, and women's, women's empowerment. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I don't know that there is a lot of difference between that. Gender equality actually it might be in terms of job opportunities. You might want to look at it um, in, that, in that field of uh, equality under the law in certain categories such as jobs. Mm -hmm. Women's empowerment may be more about how changing perceptions about how women think of themselves mm. and how powerful they can be mm. because so often they don't think of themselves mm -hmm. as powerful. Mm. Um, in a very easy words it would be women's empowerment would be your inside mm. power in mm. a woman <laughs> but gender equality it's everything around you mm. the, the law or the the context of the place that you mm. stay that treat you equal yeah. equality to a man. Yeah, so it starts from the, the women empowerment first, right? Mm -hmm. And Absolutely then we, we step to the, the gender like That's right. We yeah. have to we have to make women want it mm -hmm. and understand that they it's possible to mm -hmm. have it. Right. And then once they understand that, then they can step up and ask mm -hmm. for what is rightfully yeah. theirs yeah. under the law. Yeah. It's very good time because I'm 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 interested mm -hmm. to hear about the history of you know like what had been going on in the the US before like what are what were the significant movements mm. of women mm -hmm. you know like to fight for their rights mm -hmm. and maybe you want to share one or two of those sure so women in the United States couldn't even vote until mm. the early 1900s mm. so we could we had no right under the law could not vote for our political people couldn't be on juries to Mm -hmm. um, determine whether, um, you know, the outcome of a lawsuit. Uh, so that happened early in the, in the century, early in the 1900s. Then not a lot happened until about the 1950s or 60s mm -hmm. when um, a lot of lawsuits came up before the courts and the courts determined that as a matter of law that women were equal to men in all aspects. Mm. So then we spent another mm. 60 years wow. trying to figure out what sure. that meant mm -hmm. and we're still in the process of that. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a very milestone moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. 
Well, I think I'm only should we take a little bit break yeah, about that. Should. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should. Time flies. <laughs> <laughs> time flies, you know. Mm. Um, do you want to request a song for us? Ah, <laughs> yes. Well, um, one of the things that I have not done in Laos so mm. far is hear any music from here. Oh, so, oh. Song, right? so I would love to have you pick out a song from here so that I could listen to it. Yeah. Oh, the youngest choose. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of put the pressure on me because you know what? Um, there are many good Lao songs. We have very good mm. Lao song, but. Oh my God! Which one did I should turn on now? Um, 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 I will choose the one that uh, I would say young Lao people love. Mm. In now's a day, it's a very new one. It's a very new one. It's a it's a Lao mixture with English. Oh, so you can They're understand. Like, oh. <laughs> the lyrics, great. the lyrics, right, right. <laughs> and the music, everything. It's quite good. Mm. So I will turn on the song. <laughs> Regrets. <laughs> Huh? Regrets, Pit Wang. Pit Wang. Kong Go Men. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite. That's a very good one, no? Uh huh, uh huh. No. The famous one. No, the famous one. Okay. Okay, but you agree with me? I'm not that young. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a. <laughs> okay, this song it's for all of you, for you and all of you out there. Um, regrets, Kong Go Men, no, Pei Hang Regrets. 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 It's a regret. Regrets. How does how does say regrets? Regrets. Ah, okay. Pitwang, no regrets. We have fun. Can go on. Be out. Bed back now. How long can hold them? Stay tuned. Welcome back to English Chit Chat. We have like yeah. twenty people here in the studio. Four. Yeah, anyway, welcome back, guys. Mm. And um, yeah, today's topic is a very hot topic. Very we, hot and very. Yeah, we receive a lot of comments, questions, and if you haven't asked yet and mm. you have something that you would like to know, please do so. Because no? this is a great opportunity. Yeah, mm. leave your comments, your questions on our Facebook Live, La Youth Radio. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right. So um, this break, as we mentioned before, we want to get to know more about the film. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So maybe the people are watching us, us right now are interested to see the film, but like they they want to have some kind of like a little bit of the trailer <laughs> <laughs> today, and uh -huh. then maybe you can share with them like how can they get to see the film. Mm. Mm. Okay. So the trailer is on YouTube. We mm. just look for balancing the scales. You mm. can see kind of a little two minute short version of what the film is about mm. and some of the women that I interviewed interviewed five generations so wow. women older women than Whoa. me my age younger women very young women who just graduated mm -hmm. so that I could see what's different in over the last 60 years and what's the same what challenges still remain Aww. and don't forget we're having uh, the American Embassy is having a screening yeah. of the full film in the next couple of weeks yeah make sure you like and follow the page Man, <laughs> stay <laughs> tuned <laughs> on the US Embassy page right mm -hmm. right right Yes, and, and about the film as well, that because we, we talked about it earlier, right? We were curious about like the process of mm. making this film. Yeah. So that was quite curious about like the you know the, <laughs> <laughs> the process as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. Because and like um, she's mentioned earlier and in the beginning of the program that she spent a two years full time making this film. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. the film it's a one hour long. Mm -hmm. So so we want to know about the process and everything mm, and the, maybe like the challenges yeah, mm. of course in the film mm -hmm. Mm. so everybody has different challenges when they're a filmmaker because some people are more have more natural talent in one mm. uh, direction than another and the only thing i can say about filmmaking is you cannot do it on your own mm. you cannot do it on your own because no one person on earth is good at every single thing there are so many areas in making a film so you know you have to think about the story and you have to think about the interviews and you have to in a documentary and you have to think about the cinematography to make it look pretty and that everything looks even and then you have to be good at the editing so that you can edit it all down and it doesn't jump around mm. and um, there's just a lot of different things involved in making a film um, so I don't 
there may be somebody that's capable of doing it all by themselves, mm -hmm. but I think that um, if you have a team that has different talents, that's the most important thing. And I'll tell you one story that really illustrates that. And um, I loved uh, going out and interviewing all of the women in my film. That mm -hmm. was my favorite part of the whole thing <laughs> um, because I wanted to know everything about everybody. Uh, but when it came to editing the film and deciding what to cut and what to mm -hmm. keep, if it was up to me, it would be a 40-hour film. <laughs> 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 so I had to have somebody else that was good at saying, no, we got to cut that out. Uh, <laughs> want to keep every part. I want to keep everything. It's like a series, you know, like yeah. with many seasons. <laughs> Balancing the scale, season one. One yeah. and yeah. season <laughs> ten. <laughs> a reality show. <laughs> That's a a good idea. Mm. <laughs> so how did you find your your women in, mm. in your team? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it started out that I, I had women that were older than me that inspired me because they wanted to make changes in society and mm -hmm. they worked very hard to do that at a time when it was much harder to be a lawyer than when I started. Mm -hmm. And so I started by interviewing everybody that would talk to me that was older than me that wanted to talk about the challenges they faced. Mm -hmm. And there were some people that said no but a lot of people and uh, famous people that I just wrote to them and I never expected to hear back from them mm. and they said yes. Wow. Mm. wow. Yeah, because I believe that a lot of people want to contribute. Exactly. Yeah. True. Like to tackle these issues that have been there for a long time. Exactly. Mm. So a lot of people, a lot of women wanted to help and um, that was really exciting for me and I was able to make a great mm. film because of it. Mm. Oh, so how many, how many women that you have interviewed in your film? Mm. Well, I'm not, I ha never counted how many women made it into the film, but I interviewed of over 40. Wow. 40? Uh, wow. Wow. That's very interesting and fun part. <laughs> and they're lawyers, they're all lawyers. They're all lawyers. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, was there any moment or any like thing that you experienced in the process of making this film that it's very you know remarkable mm. for you. Yes, I uh, such a a moment occurred in 2009. So I started in 1994. In 2009, <laughs> something very remarkable occurred, mm. and that is that I, that was when I realized that this movie should not only be about all of the women that came before me that made everything equal mm -hmm. because it was in 2009 mm -hmm. I realized that there were very subtle things that still existed and that the challenges were still there so mm -hmm. I needed to focus I refocus not just on the good things that the women in the past have done but on the challenges that young people still mm -hmm. face and so right. there's a lot of young women in my film talking about that. Mm. Mm. So th then you decided to involve the young generation. Mm. Yes, exactly. Wow. Mm. To input a, a different perspective exactly. in different generations. Mm. Exactly. So mm. do you find any dis differences? Yeah. <laughs> Please, <laughs> very, like between the older generation and, and the, the new young mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. generation, mm -hmm. what are the differences and the similarity? I would mm -hmm. say? Mm. So I think that over all five generations, women have experienced the same types of challenges and discrimination but i think that the older women it was a, it was so much more difficult for them that they had to work so hard that they felt like at the end i did it all by myself and so i didn't need any help mm -hmm. so maybe the younger people should work as hard as i did mm -hmm. and they shouldn't have any help either so sometimes I found that attitude in older mm. women. That's what may be the thing that surprised me the most. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Some um, there's a question talking yeah, about <laughs> the name of the film again because they want to watch this film a lot. So you want to remind the name of the film? Mm -hmm. So my film is called Balancing the Scales. Mm. Mm. Balancing the scales, like the mm. scales, um, scales of justice. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a signal of the justice, no? Balancing, Balancing the, the scales. scales no. So yeah, search for it. Maybe like look for the trailer first. Like um, what um, um, she has mentioned, no? So yeah, that. Um, so we we talked earlier about like the next plan as well. If mm. you are having a plan to mm -hmm. produce a film, so uh, after about well, I finished this film in about two thousand sixteen, 
I told my husband, I don't want to interview any more lawyers. No more women lawyers, <laughs> no more men lawyers, just no more lawyers. No more lawyer. It's been enough years. Mm -hmm. But I'm still very interested in the topic of mm -hmm. the challenges women face. And I think that there are three um, professions that the public is very interested in. And, and if things can change in those three professions, then it would help a lot of other women in the United States mm -hmm. in different professions. So those professions are politics, mm -hmm. tech, what? tech, like high tech, oh, venture tech. capital, I see, I mm -hmm. see. Wow. and entertainment. Mm. So I Big think, three areas. Mm -hmm. and so I'm going, my next film is called An Invisible Truth. Mm. And Invisible Truth. Invisible Truth. And mm. it's going to involve the same kind of ideas about women face challenges that are hidden or invisible because of cultural expectations. Mm. But if we're able to see them, then mm -hmm. we can change them. Mm. So you, you have begun um, the process mm -hmm. of making the film. Already. Yes, I have. So this one film is going to involve these three areas, or mm -hmm. how are you going to like convey all these messages? Well, I'm not sure, mm. but since my part is interviewing, <laughs> I'm just going to go out and talk to anybody right. that I want to talk to mm. in those three fields and I think mm. it will be really interesting and then after that I may decide mm -hmm. how it's going to all shape up. Good mm -hmm. ideas first. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, in the US. But do you have any plan though to come to Laos and yeah. <laughs> make a film here? <laughs> um, yeah, I would love to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was, um, one of the things that a number of uh, women here talked mm -hmm. to me about after the presentations was perhaps some of the uh, gender issues uh, that that women face even more than in the cities in the rural right. areas mm -hmm. um, and s things like uh, being expected women girls being expected to marry at a very young age not getting an education you know it, mm -hmm. I would love to come back here mm -hmm. and maybe make a film about that or some other issues that women here face. And um, I just think that would be so interesting. Mm. Wow. We are looking forward to see your film that <laughs> have some production in Laos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like for me, the, I would feel so grateful to have. Yeah. to have that kind of film, you know, like regarding the gender equality, True. especially the, the, the girls in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. So since our English program is to uh -huh. improve English skills for Lao people, so mm -hmm. you have any three words that you want to share with our audiences that kind of relate to your uh, area, like film making or about the gender equality, the three English words that you want to share to our audiences? Sure. So. The first one has to be equality. Yes, that's a good <laughs> word right there. Because we should all be equal. Mm -hmm. um, the next one would be balance. Mm -hmm. Because if things are out of balance, then we can't make as much progress. Let me see what the third one mm -hmm. should have something to do with filmmaking. Let mm -hmm. me see what that would be. Um, I think that I'm just going to leave it at the word filmmaking because <laughs> films are so important in portraying um, things to people and and telling them what their world is about. Mm. Mm. Three words, equality, balancing, and filmmaking. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this all has the so meaning. Like the today. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. And do you have any movies or any documentary mm. films that you personally like and you want to suggest our audiences mm. out there to watch that have the, um, the, the story that relate to gender equality? Mm. Mm. So um, I just I just saw a documentary film made in Vietnam mm. oh. about a young bride, and it was it's, it has some of the same um, issues that we're talking about, and it's called Young Mother on Van High Mountain. Young Mother on Van High Mountain. Van High is the name. Van High is the name. Mm. It's, a, it's mm. the name of the right. mountain. So what is it, it about? Well, it's about a young child mm -hmm. bride and her mm. life um, as a young mother, her 
15 year old husband is mm. in school away oh. mm. she has two babies wow. she has to work on the farm every day mm. and um, I think the filmmaker did a very good job mm -hmm. in um, in talking to her and getting her to explain that she did have dreams of other things mm. but now she knows that that's not possible and it was so well done and I cried at the end oh. so so if I had to recommend one today mm -hmm. I would say that's a good one mm. oh. no. sh and how can what, we what's the name again? <laughs> mm. The Young, young mother, mother at Young High Mountain. Mountain. At Van High Mountain. Yeah. Is it available online? I no. don't know. Yeah, we, sh we should. I'm not search. sure, but, but thank mm. you for the okay. Mm. Man, but that's um that's a movie that we should watch if you want to mm. to deeper understand about gender equality and of course don't forget the balancing skills. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Another question for me, since uh, you know, like young people are now facing a lot of gender e inequality in the society, not just like the women, but men as well in some society transgender a mm. lot of things are happening but if uh, what would you recommend to the young people mm. out there if they realize that they are fa they are not receiving or not having the gender equality in where they're like living in what can they start doing mm. i mean even can though they're they not like a lawyer or uh -huh. something like that yeah but, but they, uh, of course they can do something about it right but like what, what would you recommend to them how mm. can they start mm. as a young people well, um, there's always something that someone can do, whether in, you're in your workplace or in your home. Um, there's always some way you can speak up and educate, educate your family, educate your coworkers, point out that women are, you know, this woman has a great idea or has worked so hard and done a fantastic mm -hmm. project. Um, in terms of, um, you know, going out and advocating for social change and social justice. There's many organizations. Mm -hmm. Volunteer your time if you can, um, because if the closer we get to, to any kind of equality, gender equality, equality, uh, LGBT rights, mm -hmm. all of that, it'll make the world a better place. And I feel that the purpose, my purpose in life is I would like to leave this world a better place than when I was born. Mm -hmm. So if other people feel that way, they can find a path to work toward that. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Leverly, I think I forgot to ask one question yeah, that I really want to ask in very first um, place, but <laughs> I just re um, realized okay. that I didn't ask this one yet. So I want to ask about the moment that you switch your, your career path mm -hmm. from the lawyer to to be a filmmaker, mm. could you please like walk us through the 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 thing that you have been passed through the the moment that you finally decided, okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna quit this job. You 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 mm. finally quit the job to be a lawyer? Yeah. Well, mm. almost. Almost. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the moment that you decided, now it's time. It's time for me mm -hmm. to be a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that all of those decisions had to do with me being a mother and mm. what I wanted for my daughter. Right. And the time for me to, to switch over and make this film was when she was old enough that I very much wanted her opportunities to be better than mine. Oh, <laughs> oh the mother. <laughs> the, the spirit of the mother. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like a mother who, who wanted to make a, a world a better place for, yeah, her, for, for her, her daughter. daughter. Yeah. And now, like what she did is like a massive, you know, like yeah. good effect to the society across the world, not just in the U.S. but yeah. like in here as well yeah. in Laos and many That's countries. right. Mm. That's thank right. you very much for 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 making this good change mm. in the world. Oh, yeah. thank you for having me. It's <laughs> been such a pleasure to be here. Thank you, and I love the 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 mindset of yours that if we now in the if we think about the next generation, mm -hmm. if we think that we want to have our next generation to have a better life, a better future, we should start from now. Right. Now our movements, our actions will be directly affect to their life. Mm -hmm. So just start, it's now, it's mm -hmm. from our generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So today it's very <laughs> inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you for oh, having thank me. Thank you so, so much, much for, for having sharing. me. And if you have any like the last message, last statement to the audience, please. Well. 
this is Lao youth, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say to you that your nation is fantastic. And every one of you, I just wish I could meet you in person. <laughs> oh, thank you. And we're lucky that we have a chance to meet Sharon in mm, person today. Exactly. Wow. And sit next <laughs> close to you. <laughs> <laughs> Please come to Laos again. Mm -hmm. I Please will. Come. And I let will. us know. No. Yeah. Because the next time maybe you have a new film yeah. that comes out. We can talk about that. Yeah. yeah. Sure, <laughs> that sure. That would be fantastic. Sure. And have a very safe trip. Thank you. Just go back to the set. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, you we still have the box, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We have the last, last activity. Very last act oh, activity. Oh, we still have a few left. So this is called like the, the, the super, super challenging, challenging questions. questions. Choose one out of these. Okay. And it will be in Laos. So I, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, I will help you to translate. Um, oh, okay. What do you want the most in your life? It is moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I want the most in my life? Um, I think that I that happiness, ha taking the path that will make you the happiest, is the path that will be most successful in your life. And mm. I'm, and what I want most in my life is to go down a path where I feel happy about what I'm doing. Mm. Mm. The happiness. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's very tough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much f again, again for, for coming and joining with us and have a very wonderful dinner. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your one. I'm going to enjoy my wonderful <laughs> food from Laos. Yes, <laughs> yes, please enjoy. And you're looking forward to the, the screening of your film. Man, man, mm, man, man. Well. No, so again, if you're interested to mm -hmm. see the film, just um, like and follow the page, the US Embassy. They will yeah. keep like the updates about mm. the screening of the films mm. and a lot of activities which are very interesting. True, and the name of the film again, Balancing the Skills. Mm. No, for today, thank you so much, guy. Thank you, everybody, <laughs> our listeners out there who are watching us through the Facebook Live or listening us through the radio. Yeah, and thank you for all the questions mm. and all the comments. We read all of them and we will take all of them into account to improve like Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's all important for us, mm -hmm. you know, and we hope that you will utilize this one hour for you to get to know more about the gender equality and of course improve your English skills. Yeah, mm. uh, and today, Last but not least, thank you our sponsor. Yes. Oh, yes, Atawa Tiso 8 or 21st Century School. Mm, Sky Telecom 1833. Coca-Cola. Yes, thank <laughs> like you. Uh, อ่าธนาคารพงษ์สวรรค์เนาะขอบใจทุกภาคส่วนทีวีว่าเมคอิทแฮปเปิ้ลเมคดิสโปรแกรมแฮปเปิ้ลเวลเยอะแอนด์